What's up everybody? My name is Aditya Dubey and welcome back to netstrikers.com. In this video, we are going to create a form and hence by filling out the form, we are going to display the value as requested to the controller. So as in our previous tutorial, we had created a simple uh, application to display the book details information such as book number, book name, author and price. And but now in this video, I'm going to create a form for that uh, for the people to fill out this form and display the relevant field which has been imported into the form. So let's get started. So I have stopped the application and uh, let me just zoom in. Okay. Now as uh, in our previous tutorial we had mentioned in our div tag that these are the book number, books details that we are going to display. But now we are going to create a separate form for that. So I just minimize that div tag and let us just focus on creation create on creation of form so to create the form just type the normal html form action method post because i want to use the method post for it now what are the sort of fields which i want user to fill in so i want to specify the label as book number and uh, also the input type text followed by the name number and followed by the placeholder book number that's it so similarly I can create the label and the text field for the remaining form fields so what are they let us just copy this book name instead of number I just need to replace the name instead of name I just number I need to replace name book name that's it now similarly I can copy paste for the author so book author let me just copy this paste book author instead of book name let me just replace to book author and last but not the least as mentioned price so book price which is this and let me just again copy paste final time for the placeholder and that's it so a form should have a submit button so I'm going to create a sub separate submit button for it so to create a submit button let's just create input type submit let me just save book that's it so let me just insert the br tag so that uh, it should display in separate lines so before the label tag oops. so that's it we successfully created the form for our book now let us just run this application so that let us see what sort of thing it's displaying okay so now you see the book number book name author and pro book price but when I play click on the submit button you won't see anything uh, displayed into the next page so since because I have uh, haven't assigned the action value so to define the action value let me just create my controller called as book controller and inside the book controller I just need to create one action method called as set book details now in the book details I'm going to get this value parameter from the form fields so which are book number so I'm going to just copy this and the instead of book ID I'm going to use sorry I just need to close this shut down this application now as I mentioned in my form fields that I have specified the name attribute in it and the name attribute have the value called as book number now if I want to pass the input type text value to my controller followed which have the name called as book number all I need to do is I just need to create an action result method called as set book details you can name it anything if you want and in the first parameter I am going to supply the value as book number now similarly for the second book name I just need to specify the book name label which is specified in the string section now another field which is the book author so 
I just need to create a separate uh, field for that called as book author. So that will be the string since book author name is in the string format. And last but not the least, book price, which is in the which is in the decimal format. So I just need to convert decimal book price as simple as that. So this is just a basic introduction to how you pass the value from form fields to the control action method. So let me just put the breakpoint in it. Now the breakpoint will help me to trace the application that how it proceeds. So let me just run out this application one more time. And uh, the reason I put the breakpoint here is that because I want to know what sort of value that are being passed into this certain parameters. What is the value of book number, book name, author as well as the book price. So let me just open this application, refresh, reload and uh, okay as the application reloaded successfully. Now I'm going to supply the book number as 2, book name as ABC, book author name is XYZ and book price is 20 rupees and 50 pesa. So I'm going to click on save book. Okay, you won't see any changes. Why? Because you haven't specified the action for that. So I just need to copy and assign the action name for it, the action. So just paste it here and reload this application. And I don't need to restart my application since I made changes only in the HTML field. So I don't need to worry about that. Let me just reassign the book number. Book number will be 2. Book name is ABC. Book author name is XYZ. Book price is 20 rupees and 50 pesa. Sorry. That's it. So I'm going to click on save book. And as you can see, breakpoint hit it successfully. Now let me just hover into the parameter value that I've recently created and check what are the values which are filled. So when I hover on the book number, as you can see, the book number value is initialized with two. That's good. Now let's me hover back to the book name. Book name is ABC, right? Book author is XYZ and book price is 20.5 as simple as that so i'm going to utilize these value and uh, fill these value into an object called as books and which i created in my previous tutorial inside the model class and i'm going to return the view or the uh, or the separate html page to display this relevant information so let me just stop this application for now and utilize this parameterized value into my object so let me just create a separate object for the books which i created in the object so let me just name it as book object new books and inside the book object i am going to initialize the value of book number with the book number which i specified in the parameter which is over here so let me just do it for another fields book name uh, it would be book name oops and book object dot book author will be the book author where it is where it is and last but not the least price price will be the price so i have successfully filled out the value into the object of book number name author and price let me just return the separate view for it so, so to create the view I just need to book and inside that view I'm going to pass the book object. Now set book detail ha returns the view book object but I haven't created any view for the set book detail. So to create a separate view for the set book detail I just need to right click on the set book detail click on add view and inside the template section empty without model I just need to click on the empty field and inside the model class i need to select the model class which i created called as books which you can find over here hello mvc 2models called as books and as simple as that i just need to click on add button now this will create or this will generate a separate view for me which is similar to the previous view which we have created now let me just copy and paste the div which i created in my previous tutorial to display out the value information from this field so uh, 
I'm just going to remove this field and I'm going to copy paste and that's it so this page called as set book details will display the relevant information as I filled in my uh, form field so that's it so let me just remove this get book details details so that it would display only the forms and the submit button let me just run this application so as you can see application is running let me just wait for a while since the application get loaded okay so our application is loaded successfully now we are going to supply the book number as three book name is as uh, hello aditya book author name is aditya dubey book price is 10000 and i am going to click on the save book and uh, the breakpoint hit successfully so i am going to continue to the breakpoint because i am successful and yes as you can see the book details are being displayed successfully book number is 3 which i mentioned in my form Book name is Hello Aditya, book author Aditya Dubey, book price is 10,000. So that's very simple how you can use the MVC to display the value using the form. So I hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions or a doubt, please do let me ask in the YouTube comment sections. Your suggestions are always welcome. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe now. Until then, enjoy your life. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.